Welcome, Gemini, to your weekly love reading for October 16th to the 22nd of 2017. So before I actually get into your reading and do the shuffling, I'm going to do a different video for that. But this card, all right, the devil did pop out. And oftentimes this is many of you may be having a lot of fear around a certain situation because this is your weekly love reading. All right. And it could be with the, um, a Capricorn, but a lot of you may be feeling very restricted. Um, sometimes it's like a codependent energy, a lot of fears that things are not going to work out with you and another person, um, anything that could be holding you or keeping you in bondage. So a lot of you may be needing to definitely break away from this particular energy. All right. So I want to pull that out because I feel like this is important for a lot of you to address these kind of, um, energies, even though it may be hard. Um, I feel like this is the, uh, one of the worst cards that you can get. It's, uh, it's just a heavy energy that needs to be lifted, something that you need to let go of and move on from that's very toxic. So um, we're going to put this back in and we're going to see what comes out for the week. All right, so I'm back, Gemini. We're going to see what's going on with you for the week of October 16th to the 22nd of 2017 in love. Energy for Gemini. The theme, we do have the Eight of Wands. So a lot of communication may be with you and another person. It could be about various things, but a lot of different things going on in your love life. Um, getting out and about, traveling or communicating with them, text messages, phone calls, emails, a lot of different things going on. So busy energy. All right, what's crossing that is the Knight of Pentacles. So some of you could be of uh, working towards a goal, um, talking about those plans with another person. It could be with a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus, but putting in a lot of work, strenuous work, very busy, slow. Um, maybe this is someone that you want to hear from. Maybe someone is trying to push you to, you know, move a bit quicker, um, a bit faster to reach a certain height. So a lot of you are working towards something. The base of everything is the six of wands. So a lot of victory, a lot of security that's coming through, um, a lot of accolades. If you are with your romantic partner in some way, um, you two it may be even working together. But I do feel like a lot of you are uh, confident things are working out. OK, with a lot of you out there, especially when it comes to career. So the recent past is the page of wands. So this is like being called out to hang out, to go to an event or anything like that, to go on a date, maybe with a, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius for some of you, um, being around children, maybe throughout the weekend, but this is like a playful kind of energy, just communicating and doing a, a bunch of different things. So this is the recent past. Now, the head of everything, what could be is the four of swords. So this is the resting, reflecting, just trying to recharge. You know, you're thinking about some things, Something, you know, could be heavy that's on your mind for a lot of you, but you're trying to get some rest and trying to balance things out because of the busy activity I feel for a lot of you. So the near future, you do have the Ace of Swords. So this is a new beginning, a new start, a fresh start for a lot of you. Um, it's like victory, being able to communicate how you feel. Either it's coming through, you're either receiving this from someone or you're giving this out for a lot of you. It could be with another Gemini Libra or Aquarius. So look out for some communication, some truth coming to light. All right. Your fears. Um, it could be drama. It could be different squabbles that you're having, maybe with the cancer. It could be issues with moving. That's where, you know, the devil card could come in. A fear of moving from your situation, a fear of telling the truth or the fact of when uh, might that truth or clarity come to light. You know, this is the energy of, um, you feel like things are going to be a crash course if you were to take another step in a certain direction. If you were to make a certain decision that it's going to backfire on you. So these are some fears that some of you may be have, having. Traveling, relocating, those kind of things. All right. How others may be seeing you or your partner, if you have a partner, is the tower reverse. So fear of change. Um, that's the energy of being restricted, not wanting to things to get out of hand if there is any kind of drama and things like that. But often holding on to your stance, your position, your your place, you know, if you are in a certain place right now 
And if a relationship requires you to move or relocate or something like that to make some adjustments, um, it's like your partner or others know that you're being a bit, um, you're stuck, you know, not wanting to make a move just yet. So if you're a partner, if you have a partner or um, someone that you're talking to, what they're going through, they're definitely healing. So this could be either someone from your past or the fact that you're waiting for someone who is immobile. You know, they're not willing to make a move just yet because of, you know, because because they're healing from a past relationship and things like that. And maybe they have a fear of letting you go um, and vice versa, that kind of energy is there. So some things are a bit stuck this week, even though there's a lot of other busy energy, I feel. And the communication could be about, you know, blame and things like that. So the outcome is a lot of you are letting something go. So there's a there's a big balance here, I feel, for a lot of you. There's the energy of you moving forward and then you letting something go, but still being a bit stuck, you know, maybe in the past uh, for a lot of you out there. So let's clarify the Ace of Swords for you, Gemini. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Gemini. Now, it's like I, I see like truth coming through, but some of you may not be willing to move on from it just yet. It's like you reveal it, but then you st you're still stuck in the past. Like you understand the truth about someone or something, but then you're still not able to completely move away from uh, the situation. I feel. Let's clarify. Clarify the tower reverse for Gemini. And we have the Four of Cups reverse, and often this is like a necessary change is needed to be made in order for you to embrace um, another opportunity that's out there. But some of you may be having an issue with doing that, completely letting something go that didn't work out um, and moving into something new. All right. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands reverse for Gemini. And this is, you know, changing you know, your mind, your perspective about something, breaking away from being restricted or bound to a certain relationship or a certain pattern of uh, thoughts that you may be having for uh, some of you out there. All right. And let's clarify the Ten of Swords reverse for Gemini. And this is, um, say if you are in a financial tie with another person, I feel like these are some things that you and them could still be going through. The relationship could have been uh, very heavy because of financial concerns and things like that. Having to take care of the kids, if you have children, um, the home um, could have been a lot of resentment within that situation. Just a lot of imbalance and a lot of you may be healing from uh, those negative kind of energies and breaking away from that situation i kind of see you are uh, remember we pulled out the devil energy in the beginning so i feel like this is trying your best to let go release it if things are not working out someone is not willing to open up and communicate and completely tell you the truth but i do feel that there is some kind of truth and clarity coming to light so be open to that all right but i still have still feel that some of you are trying to you know you're having issues with letting it go all right so those are your messages for the week um, these are general in nature. Um, if you would like a private or personal reading where we can tap into your specific energy, you can go to psychicloveville.com to schedule something for you. Have a good one.